Hello community, friends, family, neighborhood, and everywhere I go, my neighbors. I'm passing by this way to plead to you guys, please subscribe because I need 700 more subscribers to get me kicked off. And I have 54 viewers. And I need some more likes as well. So, uh, I'm going to give you a little detail, a little detail about myself. First of all, I am a devout Christian, spirit filled, soul saved, sold out. Hallelujah. And uh, I live under the umbrella of the Holy Spirit with fire and power. Hallelujah. And when I read the word, and it's when someone sometimes, if they're in the spiritual realm, talk of Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, my spirit, by the grace of God, allow me to uh, be a witness. Just like Jehovah God told this Jeremiah. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. And as Jeremiah was experiencing the Lord talking to him, and back in the day, back in the Old Testament, uh, the Holy Spirit, it was active, they didn't recognize what it was until Jeremiah came on on the scene and said he felt the Holy Ghost fire with power. He said, it seems like fire shut up in my bones. Hallelujah. And I'm a witness to that. One time when I was, I was teaching on Jeremiah, whoa, I studied, 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 studied some more and more. And Ooh, and then I had to stand and talk of the Lord using Jeremiah. It wasn't difficult because I had studied. It was the feeling of the Holy Ghost fire and the react the spirit. Oh my God, it's just bubble up inside of me. Ooh, and thank God he helped me through all of that whole 45 minutes to an hour sermon. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And uh, I have made a lot of videos about different things, cooking, prayer, life, sharing some things about the snow, so forth and so on, shared a lot of things with you guys, even about the three days of darkness and the three nights of darkness. I received a lot of viewers from that. Sure, they viewed it. And I believe they forgot to subscribe because it was so many that viewed it. And I had, Jehovah God had given me another dream about the three days of darkness and three nights of darkness. And that third one, I didn't post it's because it just shook me and scared me to the core. 
because in that vision, you know, when you come out of a dream and then you see vision, so it's like that state, dream, vision, because you, you no longer sleeping. Huh? And so he allowed me to see it and shook me up. I was outside and my daughter, one of my daughters was upstairs on the outside porch looking down, looking at me, trying to rush in, trying to rush up the steps to go in the house. Whoa, it was, so I knew because it was, it, uh, the entity was coming and I was running up the steps trying to make it in the house. And the one that got me jumped on my back. It uh, jumped on my back. And then I saw my daughter's face. Cause she knew not to come out, not to help me or anything like that. Just go in the house, close up the blinds and the drapes and the plastic. And then it ended. At the time I received it, it was so it was so terrifying. Ooh. I wasn't able to post it then. So anyway, the more of the story is when you grab hope, Jesus ushered in salvation. When he came along and paved the way, made that way easy for us to grab hold of salvation and to seek the Lord and to seek Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit and love him and live holy and do everything that's pleasing to our Creator and Jesus Christ. A lot of people say it's, it's, it's hard to live a Christian life. I don't think it's hard because when I was a little girl, when I was very little, about six or seven years old, you know, back in the day they had tents to come to your neighborhood. And they called it Azusa Street, like A.A. A. Allen. Smith, Wilkinsworth. There's so many others. They grab hold of the spiritual realm of how fiery, ooh, how fiery the Holy Spirit is. You must incorporate as you do the blood of Jesus, the Holy Ghost fire with power in Jesus' name. And you must fast. It goes with the ministry. You fast and pray. Pray and fast. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, most of all, be faithful and truthful. And you will have joy, unspeakable joy, down on the inside of you, just keeping you. That's the spirit of the Holy Ghost giving you joy to make you know that it's him. You have obstacles getting in your way, but then you will still have joy within. It won't make you upset or mad or, or, uh, or I heard a man say, I'm going to lay down my religion. You don't lay your religion down. If you're in a battle, don't lay your religion down. You keep that religion because you may not get put can pick it back up. As I heard 
a minister say one time that this guy, he was all, uh, this minister was always ministering to this guy and uh, this guy said, oh, I got a lot of time to change my life and to serve God. Whew. The man didn't know that when he was at the cusp of or the, as they say, the old timers, the Alzheimer's came up on him and he didn't know, he didn't know anything to do. He didn't know his family. And that taken a toll on him and he didn't have time. He had time, but he wasn't in his mind, his natural mind to repent and grab hold of salvation. Woo. And his demise wasn't good. So everyone has to work out their soul salvation. When I was 18 years old, Jesus showed me himself 